Lumion has long been appreciated for not being like other rendering programs because it fits so fluidly into the crafting process of an architect, making it a pleasure rather than a pain to work with. Continuing in this vein, Lumion 11 comes with a great new orthographic view effect. It's an awesome tool that allows you to create top view and side view images without any perspective distortion. Instead of the usual wireframe orthographic views you'd include as part of your design documentation, Lumion 11 helps you bring these perspectives to life. For example, your floor plans can include materials, furniture, decorations, and they can show lighting and shadows. And the best part, you can even animate these views. We'll use the beach house example scene, which is included with Lumion 11, to show you how this works. If you don't have Lumion 11, go ahead and download the free trial now and follow along. To use the orthographic view effect, start by creating an image from your chosen angle. Go to Effects, Camera, and select Orthographic View, and switch the effect on. Notice that a new property bar will appear at the bottom of the preview window. This allows you to switch between a perspective 3D view and an orthographic 2D view. When in the 2D view, you can adjust the magnification with the zoom slider or the scroll wheel, and the orientation with the heading and pitch sliders. The heading snaps to new values with 45 degree increments, which makes it easy to align the image to your building design if it is parallel to the axes in your CAD software, and as long as you haven't rotated it in Lumion. The pitch slider snaps to 0, 35.3, and 90 degrees. To adjust your pitch and heading, simply hold down the right mouse button and move your mouse to orbit around the focal point. To make finer adjustments using the sliders, press the shift key while dragging the slider left or right. Lumion's regular camera movement keys can also be used to adjust your camera. In this tutorial, we're going to create a floor plan, so first we need to hide the roof. Of course, we could place the roof object on its own layer and switch it off with the layer visibility effect, but if the roof is not a separate object, you can achieve this using the near clip slider. It clips the view by cutting off objects starting from those closest to the camera. If everything becomes foggy, it means you've cut through the ground layer. Using the shift key, you can fine tune the clipping plane distance. The far clipping plane cuts off objects starting from the furthest away from the camera. To see it in action, let's set the pitch angle to zero degrees. Now, you can see the effect of the far clipping plane. The fill color switch sets the whole background to one color, white by default. You can choose a different color if you like. To get more even lighting inside, you can either place lights or use the overcast style preset. The blueprint effect may also be useful when creating floor plan renders. When you set the grid scale to one, you'll get an overlay of one by one meter squares, which gives an impression of the size of a space. Here are some renders of the styles and effects I tried so far while using orthographic projection. The orthographic view effect can also be used for video animations from a stationary perspective as we clip through the design. Let's take a look. To make an orthographic animation, start by taking a video clip with one snapshot of your building, taken roughly from the right angle. Then, add the orthographic view effect and switch it on. Now let's go back into the movie clip editor. Make sure the heading, pitch, and zoom are set the way you want. Update the camera keyframe and add a second camera keyframe. Save the clip and go back to movie mode. Move to the desired position for the first frame and then set the first near clip keyframe position. Move to the second position, for example at two seconds, and set the second near clip keyframe position. Now we have a nice clipping animation through the roof. Of course, for buildings with multiple floors, this type of animation is even more useful as it allows you to show the layout of each of the floors one at a time. As you've probably already guessed, we can also use the orthographic effect in combination with a moving camera. Let's see how it's done. We'll enter the clip editor again, move the camera to the left, and add another two snapshots. Since keyframes in Lumion are always relative to the clip length, 
and we increase this, the keyframe has shifted from 2 seconds to about 6 seconds. We need to delete it and set it again at 2 seconds. To also cut through these lower roofs, add another near clip keyframe here and here, and set the near clip distance of the last one to a position just below the roof. Now, let's add the same effects we used for the static image and render the clip. It's as simple as that. Here's some other examples of orthographic renders. As you can see, you can add other movie effects, such as moving cars and people, which brings even more life to your presentation. To create an axonometric projection, you can add a clip plane object into your scene and animate it with the move effect. While in this camera angle, we can move the clip plane down to slowly slice through the design. This allows us to appreciate the elevation of each floor while seeing multiple sides. I use the sketch effect here to keep things simple and focused on our design shape. That wraps up this tutorial on Lumion 11's awesome new orthographic feature. I hope you like it and have a ton of fun using it on your own projects. Hit that subscribe button to make sure you don't miss another one of our tutorials, and I'll see you in the next one.